Ada Lovelace was a mathematician in the early to mid 1800s who revolutionized the trajectory of the computer industry. Ada Lovelace lived in the United Kingdom and realized that a computer could follow a simple program to perform complex calculations. This could help people for years to come. You might have assumed that the computer age began with some geeks out in California. Or perhaps with the code breakers of World War II. But the pioneer who first saw the true power of the computer lived way back during the transformative age of the Industrial Revolution. Augusta Ada Byron was born December 10, 1815, to Lord and Lady Byron. Augusta Ada Byron, better known as Ada Lovelace, showed her gift for mathematics at an early age. Since she introduced many computer concepts, Ada Lovelace is regarded as the world's first computer programmer. Lovelace was inspired by the designs of the analytical engine, a machine that could perform any calculations set before it. When Lovelace was only a month old, her father abandoned her and her mother. He died in Greece when Lovelace was eight. Before his death, Lord Byron wrote to his wife, asking about his daughter's upbringing. Lovelace's mother had this to report. Not devoid of imagination, but is chiefly exercised in the connection with her mechanical ingenuity. This was the best that Lady Byron could hope for. Having taught her daughter a discipline for arithmetic, music, and French, Lovelace's mother wanted to suppress her daughter's imagination, which she feared to be dangerous and destructive, coming from the Byrons. As a young girl, Lovelace's mother made certain she was given the best education with the best tutors. Lovelace's mathematically-minded mother found it important for her daughter to get good schooling, even though Lovelace was a girl. Ada Lovelace also received support from her husband, William King Noel, the first Earl of Lovelace. He copied library articles for her because as a woman, she was not allowed to enter libraries. Many other things were happening across the globe during this time, including the ascension of Queen Victoria to the British throne and the start of the journey for the HMS Beagle, which held Charles Darwin, a naturalist and geologist. Ada Lovelace once said, as soon as I have got flying to perfection, I have got a scheme about a steam engine. When Lovelace was just 12 years old, she wanted to fly. She started examining birds and looking at different materials that could serve as wings, including paper, feathers, and silk. Lovelace wrote and illustrated a guide called Flyology, which she used to record her findings. Ada Lovelace worked on that project until her mother lectured her for forgetting her studies, which were there to set her on a rational course, not an imaginative one. Unfortunately for Lovelace, her studies were interrupted when she was 13 years old from a terrible case of measles, which led to poor health. When Ada Lovelace was a teenager, she visited London with her mother and attended lots of parties. One particular party was held at the house of a 41-year-old mathematician, philosopher, and inventor. His name was Charles Babbage. Charles Babbage was impressed with the 17-year-old female genius, and the two became close friends. Since he was much older, Charles Babbage served as a mentor to Ada Lovelace. Babbage was able to help Lovelace start studying advanced mathematics at the University of London. Babbage had many ideas of his own, including plans for a machine he called the analytical engine. This device would be able to solve complex calculations and would revolutionize learning. In 1842, an Italian engineer named Luigi Federico Manambre published an article on the plans for the analytical engine. Babbage asked Lovelace if she could translate the original French text to English. Not only did Ada Lovelace translate the text, but in the course of nine months, she translated it and added her own thoughts and ideas on the machine. Lovelace's notes ended up being three times longer than the original article. Her work was published in 1843 with the initials AAL for Augusta Ada Lovelace. Ada Lovelace was proud of her notes, and Babbage admired them. However, Babbage wanted to add an anonymous preface which he had written. In it, he explained how the British government did nothing to support the project. Lovelace believed this was a bad idea, and the more Babbage insisted, the more frustrated Lovelace got. In the end, Ada Lovelace published her notes without Babbage's preface. 
In her notes, Lovelace described how codes could be created so this device could handle letters and symbols, not just numbers. Ada Lovelace's notes were published in Taylor's scientific memoirs, and out of its 66 pages, 41 make up her section. These notes are often described as the first computer program. However, Lovelace describes a little more accurately that it presents a complete simultaneous view of the successive changes as the calculation progresses. Ada Lovelace's most famous section of notes was Note G. In this section, Lovelace describes the operation of the machine by using an example of the calculation of the Bernoulli numbers, which appear in many places in modern mathematics. There are many different ways of calculating these numbers, and Lovelace did not choose the simplest. She instead noted that the object is not simplicity or facility of computation, but the illustration of the powers of the engine. Unfortunately, after Ada Lovelace wrote and published her notes, the analytical engine was never built. Ada Lovelace died shortly after in 1852 at the age of 32. Her work was largely forgotten in the century to come. After her death, without her pushing force, genius, and motivation to revolutionize the mathematical world, nobody could make the machine. Nobody used or looked at her calculations, and over time, Ada Lovelace and her notes were forgotten in history. The influence of Ada Lovelace, though, continued into the modern world of technology. In fact, Lovelace's notes were used by Enigma codebreaker Alan Turing when he was developing the first computer. In the 1940s, Alan Turing, known as the father of modern computers, discovered Lovelace's work and used it as an inspiration. Her notes helped him in the development of the contemporary computing technology. Alan Turing was looking for a way to build a machine that could help humans do calculations and problem solve, similar to Babbage's idea of the analytical engine. Turing was looking for clues on how to build this when he came across Lovelace's Section G notes. These notes and ideas helped Turing to build a computer similar to the ones we use today. Had Turing not rediscovered Lovelace's notes, we would not have many technologies and electronics today. No personal computers, iPhones, televisions, artificial intelligence, and even streetlights. Ada Lovelace built the ground that most technologies stand upon today. On top of that, in the 1980s, the United States of America's Department of Defense called a computer software language Ada in recognition of Lovelace and her work. Had Ada Lovelace not written the first computer program, it's more than likely that no one would have had similar ideas, similar thinking, and even perspectives on this matter. Without her notes, Turing might not have had the information he needed to invent the modern computer. The importance of her work is that she was able to do it, and a century before the invention of the computer as we know it today. She was definitely way ahead of her time. Ada Lovelace once said, That brain of mine is something more than merely mortal, as time will show. She was right, as her work wasn't recognized until more than a century after her notes were published. Ada Lovelace is, and will continue to be, an inspiration and role model for women in the mathematical and digital fields for years to come. Ada Lovelace set the groundwork for our modern world of technology and helped us humans evolve in the technological world. Everyone and anyone who uses computers and phones has Lovelace and her work to thank. She may not have lived long, but in the short time she did, she achieved much. We will forever be grateful for her genius. So thank you. The modern world now teems with computers. They're everywhere, often hidden as miniaturized microchips. If we don't take them totally for granted, we certainly aren't surprised that they can do so much more than simple number crunching. Ada had seen this, the extraordinary flexibility of computers, nearly 200 years ago.